When you find the class card of the class you're interested in, for me it's going to be grade 8 math, start by clicking on the learning journey icon. And that looks like the three bars, kind of like a sideways bar graph. So let's click on that. And this brings me to the learning journey. So this shows me all of the material that my students have available to work on, as well as the material they have already worked on. So at the very highest level, we have the traffic light system with green being good or mastery above 80%, yellow indicating some struggle and red indicating a lot of struggle. So I can see on the grade two material, my students scored an average of 88% on those assessments. For sixth grade, for example, I can see my students scored an average of 75% on the assessments. You can click in to take a closer look at the class level. So for grade two material, I can click in and I can see specifically what lessons my students have worked on. I can scroll down and see as well. And again, that traffic light system with green, good, yellow, struggle, red, significant struggle still holds. So for example, for this first lesson in grade two, operations and algebraic thinking is the domain. And the lesson is called add and subtract within 100 to solve word problems. I can see that my students scored an average of 94% on the check for understanding and that four students took that check for understanding. If I want to know who did, I can click on the score. I see the average score and I can also see which students completed that assessment. So I have Peter and I have Anika, Jose, and Neil. So this is a good way to view high level class data. 